how do you really cultivate this soil because we're talking on jesus soil use his language he says two things he says two qualities through which you will be able to cultivate this soil very easily and he gives a lot of emphasis on the first one and he says humility humility is an attribute is a is a process through which you will be able to cultivate this soil and the second he says innocence that the child has the innocence if you have the capacity if you can recreate that innocence if you have lost it or if you can maintain the same innocence which you had as a child maybe that's the reason he says that only people who become like children or who are like children will be able to enter the kingdom of the god or kingdom of the heaven because when he's saying only like a child maybe he's talking about innocence because a child is in wonder all the time he's in or she's in wow of everything there's a constant wondering state a child is in not in a rejecting state in a very receptive state innocence and humility he gives a lot of emphasis on humility because if you start to to develop cultivate humility into your being the soil of humility you know humility is a space is a state where everything starts to become equal equanimous nobody is superior nobody is inferior no religion is superior no religion is inferior my religion is superior than yours you know all that will go out of the window these thoughts these imaginations come because of lack of humility because of lack of humility i take pride in what i have or lack of humility i become very inferior in my thought both ways i am not at a equipoise so jesus says this is two ways because only if you have the humility you will have the capacity to embrace all diversity yeah market only if you have humility you will have the capacity to embrace all diversity what is diversity is a form of duality no <laughs> and we are on a journey of oneness when we are on a journey of oneness all the dualities need to merge together which means all the diversity needs to be embraced together how can you embrace the the diversity or the duality if you're not humble if there is no humility in you so jesus gives a lot of importance lot of emphasis on humility without this you can't respect the other you can't embrace the other there'll always be higher than lowers you'll always be judging or being judged <laughs> when you're humble when there's a deep humility your mind doesn't even go towards the thought of judging because you're in a space of respecting all embracing all diversity yeah so humility is condition number 1 to cultivate the soil of your heart remember that and in a sense innocence is the capacity to wonder at every small little phenomena of life everything when i'm speaking i must be wondering on the phenomena of speech where are these words coming from i have not i have not uh, i have not remembered these words where are these words coming from? where are these thoughts coming from who is who is making sure that i speak this at this particular moment because i am not doing that it's just happening wonder speech is a wonderful phenomena hearing i hear something how does it go into my being i decipher i understand something opens up hearing a small statement sometime opens up vistas of possibilities within you how does it happen of course biologically scientifically we can talk about neuroscience and how you know uh, the the frontal lobe works how there's a neocortex works in the mind and all of that you know 
but it's still a wonder yeah how how does this this understanding takes place how do you really one find a say aha i know this phenomena a child has this capacity to wonder yeah as we grow up we become serious <laughs> we lose the capacity to laugh the moment you feel lose the capacity of of laughing you lose the capacity to wonder they go hand in hand <laughs> you cannot laugh if you cannot wonder you cannot wonder if you cannot laugh <laughs> they go really hand in hand the capacity to wonder and always when you wonder something wonder at at a you know the other day i was a friend was sharing that uh, you know the leaf of a tree so there is a mechanism the every every leaf has a central nadi or central line if you see and then there are lines on the left and there are lines on the right yeah we we all know this we've all seen this wonder you know what if the if the plant is male or a female how do you identify that count the leaf on the left if the le- if the leaves are even it's a female plant if the leaf are if the lines are odd it's a male plant wow how did that happen <laughs> who designed this <laughs> who designed this so perfectly every tree every leaf has this science in it have this has this um imprint in this who is signing all of that these are like signature of a leaf a leaf is declaring am i you know male or a female count the sections count the lines to me this is signature of a leaf who is signing <laughs> yeah we can say nature what there's a there's a force there's an intelligence who's signing all of that we call this intelligence god divine allah ishwar you know whatever we want to call it but there's a there's a supreme intelligence signing all of this that intelligence is you and me too <laughs> we are that intelligence it is wonder one day you will realize it that you are that intelligence <laughs> the same intelligence which is signing on every leaf the same intelligence which is signing on every thumb of every human being diverse signature <laughs> apparently apparently these are diverse signature but the same <laughs>